believe it or not, guys, I created this car animation without creating any animation. Yes, I just click on a few buttons and that's it, my car was animated. So in this tutorial, I will share with you my secret weapon and show you exactly how I created this scene. And before we continue, I would like to mention that for the summer sales, my car animation course The Ride is 25% off. It's the perfect course if you are a beginner in Blender or if you want to get better in car animation. We will cover everything from the basic stuff to the advanced car animations. Not only you will get 64 videos and 11 hours of lessons, but you will also get tons of assets, buildings, cars, city props, etc and my add-on HDRI magic to create realistic animations. And on top of that, I will personally assist all my students when they need help. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Let's see the easiest way in the world to create car animations in Blender. So let's delete the default cube and now I will import my car in the scene. So file, append, you select your car. In my case, it's a Bugatti Chiron. I go in object and select everything and append. If you don't have a car, you can use my C63 AMG, which is uh, totally free. The link will be in the description. From there, you have to be sure to have this naming convention for your different parts. So the body, the brakes, and the wheels. And because we will not use this rig, I will just delete it. So you click on car rig and press delete. And I will also delete all those WGT objects. And just to keep things organized, I will create a new collection. So right click, new collection. I will name it car and move all the car parts in this new collection. For the body, right click, select higher key. You press M on your keyboard to move it to the car collection. And now let me introduce my secret weapon, the new version of Lunch Control. If you don't know, Launch Control is a powerful add-on which helps you to animate your car in just a few clicks. You will be able to rig your vehicle, to animate it using presets or using your own path. And you will also be able to add physics to your animations. And just to be clear, I'm not paid to do this video. It's my honest opinion that I want to share with you guys. And if you want to check this add-on, it's actually at 25% off on the Blender market for the summer sales as well. I will put the link in the description. So let's see how it works. To install the add-on, it's the same as usual. You go in Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and you select the add-on files. So mine is here, here, and you press Install Add-on. Once you have the add-on activated, you press N on your keyboard, and you will have the add-on here. And to rig your vehicle, you just have to press one button, Rig Vehicle, and boom, <laughs> everything is done. Now if I press Spacebar, Look at this, my vehicle is already animated. And as I told you, you can select different presets for your animation. Let me show you all of them. So you click here in select animation. Let's select the first one, bumps. You click on that and you press animate vehicle. And voila, this is the bumps. Let me show you the first drift, animate vehicle. This is one of my favorite. So I go back in frame one and I press space bar. And you can already use this for your projects or you can tweak the path if you want to adapt it for your needs. And I will show you how to do that later in this video. Then you have drift number two. And this one is cool as well. Your car is uh, drifting around uh, this path. And this is drift number three. You see that you can change the level of the ground if needed for your project. For drift number four, you have this cool animation. Then you have a jump. Boom. <laughs> so cool. Then you have off-road starting with the jump, and then you have the car on the terrain, and it's reacting to uh, the ground deformations, of course. Slalom, this is the animation I use in my video. Slalom number two. Turn, this is the default animation that you have when you install the rig. And finally, turn number two, where you have this big turn. And what's great about all those presets is the fact that you can use them as a starting point for your project. Or if you're lazy like me, you just use them as they are because they're already very good. For example, if you want your car going in a straight line, I used the drift number four because I knew that there were this straight line already there. So I have nothing to change. Look at this. You just have to put your camera in front of the car and that's it. You have your car driving on a straight line. And now let me show you how you can edit those paths to fit your needs. 
So let's modify the default animation first. I will extend the ground because you need your car to be on the ground. So here I will click on the ground. I will press tab to go in edit mode. I select all those points and I will extrude E and X like this just to have enough uh, space for my car. And now let's modify the path. So you click on the path, you go in edit mode by pressing tab on your keyboard. And like all the path we already did in the, my previous tutorials, you have different key points and you can modify them. So let's modify this one, for example, I will extrude it. So E and X to extrude the path. So my car is going until there. And if I want to add a curve, for example, I just click on it, go back in edit mode. I select a point, let's say this one and G and Y and boom, for example, like this. And I see that I don't like this angle. So I just select the point and I scale it just to smooth the angle. And now I have this angle as well. So let's scale it and voila. So now I have a new path for my car. And here you see that the add-on is leaving a message. Please click update driving path. And this is because we change the uh, shape and the length of the path. So all we have to do is to click here, update driving path and boom. Now let me show you something. I have extended the, the length of the path. So if I press space bar now, You see my car is stopping here. So to fix that, you have to click on those controls, right? So let me show you how those works. So you click on those controls and you go in pause mode here, pause mode, or you press control and tab on your keyboard. The main control I use all the time and you will use on the, all the time with this add-on is this wheel because this wheel is for the length uh, of your animation, for example, here, my car is stopping at frame 118 and you can see the keyframe here. If I want my car to go at the end of the path, all I have to do is to change this uh, keyframe value. So I go in item and here the Z rotation, as you can see now, I can move my car. So let's say I want to go until there. I press I on my keyboard to update the keyframe. And now my car will go until there. But it's taking 118 frames to do this animation. So it might be a little bit too fast. If you want to slow it down, you can just move the keyframes. So it will take more time, more frames to do the animation. And then it will be slower And here. And what great things about this add-on as well is when I go back in the add-on, you have this manual gearbox. And here in advanced animation, you can select the speedometer. So you can actually see the speed of your car. Okay, now let's go back to those controls. So you have the wheel shake, the wheel wobble, the comber amount. And to be honest with you, I never mess with those values. And I will explain why in a few seconds when we will play with the physics. You have the airborne mode, but this is where you want your car to jump. But I don't see the point of using that if you already have a jump preset. So you just have to, to use the jump preset. And you have this use sim data if we don't want to use the physics that are already applied. Actually, we are in the animate sliders. And if you want, we can go back in the setup. This is where you want to define your turn limit, the comber offset, the max suspension travel. And for those three that never touch them, the one I use sometimes is the ground clearance. So you press G and you move it. For example, if you want your car to be a little bit higher, I never touch this one. For the body weight, I like to use it because I always want my wheels to be um, inside the, the ground like, like this, right? Or maybe a little bit less. So here you press G and you move your car. Yes, like this. And to give the effect that the, the car has a weight and it's pressuring on the different wheels. So I like to use this uh, slider. And yeah, I don't use those two. So mainly the body weight and the ground clearance. Now let's go back in animation. Now let me show you how you can use your own uh, path. So shift A, you go in curve and you create a Bezier here. 
Let me move it around uh, here. Let me scale it. And like we did before, you can edit the shape of your curve. So E and X, just move it like that. And now all you have to do, you click here, you select your curve and animate vehicle. And boom, your vehicle is animated on your own curve and it's all automatic. But personally, what I like to do is really to start with one of the presets. But if needed, in this new version, you still have the option to create your own path from scratch. Now let's talk about the killer function of this add-on, the physics. So here we have an animation preset applied to our car, but there is no physics at the moment. And to change that, it's very easy. First, let me remove this speedometer. We don't need that anymore. So boom. So all you have to do is to select the presets, road car, heavy truck, active suspension, cartoon, etc. But let's just go for the standard world road car and you click on apply physics. And boom, now you see the difference. You see how my car is reacting. All the physics are applied here at the beginning. For example, you can see the acceleration and in the turns, you can see the car rolling. And everything is automatic. It's absolutely fantastic. And normally you have to animate that manually. But here, everything is done for you by the, the add-on itself. So it's saving you hours and hours of uh, manual animations. And what's great about this system is if you click here on physics post fix, you can update live the animation. For example, if I want more pitch, I can just raise this value and boom, in live, you can see the result. It's the same for the yo, for the roll. If you want your car to, to roll a little bit more, look at this. Now it's a, it's a pretty extreme rolling. But hey, this is something you have access live. You don't have to bake the simulation again and again. And here the yo is when your car is going right and, and left. A lot of shakiness on the, the car body. All you have to do is to play with those different values until you have something that you like. But frankly, the default values are totally fine for me. But once again, if you want some tweaking, you can do that as well. In the manual gearbox, you have different functions that you could use for your animations as well. You have the headlights. So here, you just activate the lights on and off. This is how it looks. In this new version, you can also use the squid marks. So all you have to do is to check this box and boom, you will have some marks behind your car. If you want to create advanced simulation, you can use advanced controls. Here you have the extra animation handles. So yes, the physics are automatic, but if you want your car to have a special behavior, of course, you can go in pause mode and animate everything by hand. Here you will have a collection ground detection and all you have to do is to put your ground in this collection. So the car will react to your ground. For example, here, this is the ground I have created for this project and I just placed it in the ground detection collection. And don't forget to delete the default ground. Yeah, that's it guys. Now you know how I created my animation in just a few clicks using all those different presets. And I forgot to mention it, but this add-on is actually 25% off on the Blender market for the summer sales. I will put the link in the description. Don't hesitate if you have questions. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.